Hey guys, what's going on? I'm Ashley. I'm Courtney. And we are CA in LA, Courtney and Ashley in Los Angeles. We're best friends, filmmakers, and musicians. Thank you so much for watching. And today we're going to watch the Love, Death, and Aww. Robots season two, volume two trailer. I'm really, really hyped because we loved volume one and it had so much beautiful artwork in it. Like, ugh. Definitely being in a land where you couldn't tell if it was live action or if it was animation. Right? We were definitely scratching our head for a couple of the episodes, but the art, absolutely. And the storylines are incredible. They're all different. All of the animation is different. So I'm really excited to see what they've done with yeah. volume two. Also, Netflix has just done a really, really great job of curating like short content, mm -hmm. in my in my opinion, um, short content and allowing short films to be on there. So having this anthology of shorts was really, really awesome. Yeah, I, I like that a lot of platforms are doing that as well. I'm excited. Okay. Yeah. Oh, oh man. These scenarios always make me very sad. Oh, oh like my God, see? the detail. Oh, you feel something. Those eyelashes want the... Don't you? Oh, what? It's like a kind of door opens up out there. Look at I the kids! It's some other world trapped inside our own. Oh, this looks beautiful. Why give all this up? Like, uh, why? Oh, uh, the detail. Oh I've been alive too. These worlds look years. beautiful. I've seen too much. Oh, <laughs> the dog's like, I'm just going to continue on. Thank you. Oh, I love the different animation styles that I'm seeing. I know, I, the edit too is so good. Oh! It, it's just what I wanted. Oh my god. Oh, that's beautiful. All I remember from that trailer is a giant foot. I'm just kidding. Um, oh, oh, wow. <laughs> oh. Oh. Um, <laughs> that looks so good. The artistry, the animators, God bless them. Oh, my goodness. Animation has come such a long way. I am super stoked to watch this. I am already curious about like every single storyline in there, what's connected and what isn't. The kids um, for Christmas, it definitely gives me like um, Polar Express vibes. Oh, yeah. Um, it looks, oh my gosh. I wonder if it's like a careful what you wish for type situation. Mm. Like uh, it transforms them and, and brings them into another world. It definitely had that vibe. But oh my gosh, it looks so good. I wonder if any of them, because also while that was Polar Express, it kind of looked like it could be some form of stop motion if like that was used mm. in there as well. I don't know. I don't know. But I want to know about all the storylines in there. The one um, when those things just came up out of the water and it like flew Stunning. out. Yeah. Oh. Those look really, really awesome. Of course, David Fincher is involved <laughs> with this. Um, it just, it looks so good. So good. It's going to be on Netflix uh, on May 14th. I just know from um, when we watched volume one that there was this whole thing that everybody's episode one was different and mm. like everybody experienced it in a different order than everybody else. So I'm really intrigued to see if they do the same thing with yeah. this. Yeah, which is interesting because usually if you do a series with different stuff in it, you always or you have a plan mm -hmm. of like your strongest one is first. Or so it's kind of its own story to make sure that you're not lulling in the wrong places unless they're just so confident about all of their storylines which they should be because mm -hmm. they're all amazing especially from volume one it will be really interesting to see what they do here yeah and that first one reminded me of something that we have made it did too before. i know i so, got i got those vibes. Like, <laughs> i was like oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, but i think it's really interesting that they have it 
like love death and robots like it's very straightforward to the point you know what you're getting in every episode and some of them have like two of those that they focus on some of them have all three but just to give you as a creator that license that it needs to fit under this umbrella of love, death, and robots is fascinating. Which is a pretty big one. I yeah. feel like that's so vague and it gives you three things. It's not it's not specific at all. You could take it anywhere and they certainly did with with volume one and oh my gosh, there's so many in there that I wish they would have turned into a full series, but I understand that that's not the point. But I wasn't sure if they were ever gonna come back with with a volume two or anything else. They after had that. to. Well, not necessarily. Come on. Well, you know, limited series, it's super awesome. And then it just stops. And you're like, and that's the tea. That's the end. I think and you're though, like, eh. I think with so. this, it's just a little bit, there was so much acclaim for it mm -hmm. based on the different art styles represented. And it, it, I mean, it won an Emmy. So yeah, like it was very well received. I don't know these 543 people that are downvoting it, like whatever, <laughs> you weirdos. Well, I remember seeing the trailer for, for volume one and it was just a, uh, yeah. <laughs> kind, yeah, kind of thing. And it did not disappoint. I don't think this volume is going to disappoint either. Yeah. We're avid Black Mirror fans to a point um, and that this whole concept is very reminiscent of Black Mirror uh, style storylines, but in the realm of love death and robots right yeah everything just looks so exciting and like court was saying um a little bit ago i'm so intrigued because there were so many episodes in season one volume one that i was so astounded with the artwork and and the realism that there were some episodes that we were just going back and forth and like right up on the television <laughs> like is this like real or or no is that animated and we're this far from the screen like <laughs> we're like <sighs> yeah i think it's i think it's it's no it's real no it's in what is it a hybrid of both but I, I i love the artistic liberty that this is pushing and just the focus of the attention to detail to the artwork is amazing amazing it is amazing well you've I, heard I can't wait i know i can't wait either I'm super excited, but um, you've heard us ramble about how excited we are. We want to know what you think. If you guys have seen volume one, what are your favorite episodes? We want to know. I'm sure someone has has the same as ours. Yeah. It has to be. Has to be. We yeah. want to tell you. We want to see what you guys think. But please let us know. Don't not. Don't not. Don't not. Don't not. Miss Do this series. Don't not. <laughs> Very yeah, passionate. Both just traveled to Donut. <laughs> obviously, that's the only response that is acceptable here. No. Yeah, uh, yes. Do not Donut. <laughs> Forget to like and subscribe and let us know oh. in the comments what you think. <laughs> Please let us know. Thank you guys so much for watching. And we will see you in the next video. Yes. Like, subscribe, comment below. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.